although our focus will be on product tables and tree diagrams, there are other ways of uh, systematically listing out possibilities. So uh, one example is when you're counting triangles in a figure. And in this case, it says how many triangles of any size are in the figure below. So the method that we're going to use is to label the points that are shown at the tips of the corners of the triangles, beginning with A, and proceed in alphabetical order to write all three letter combinations like ABC, ABD that form triangles. So I'm going to label the corners A, B, C, D, E, and F. We need three corners for a triangle. So we're going to list out all the three letter combinations and look at which ones form triangles. Be to be organized, we're going to look at first all the ones that include the vertex A. Vertex means the corner. But we do have to keep everything in alphabetical order to avoid repetition. For example, I'm not going to list A, B, C, and A, C, B. I'm going to keep the B and C in alphabetical order. So starting with A, we're going to go A to B, A, B, C. So A, B, C would be a triangle. All right, what would we look at next? Well, keep the A and the B, and we're going to go through all the possibilities, A, B, D, A, B, E, and so on. All right, so A, B, D is also a triangle, if you look over here. Right? A, B, D is this outer triangle here, which is why we listed it. Next, we would check A, B, E. Is A, B, E a triangle? Let's check. So we go from A to B and then to E and back to A and yes, we have a triangle. So we're going to list A, B, E. All right, the next thing we would check is keeping the A and the B until we've run out of possibilities. We're going to check A, B, F. All right, so for A, B, F, we go from A to B oops, and then to F and back to A and look, that is a triangle in our diagram. So A, B, F. Now there's no letter after F, so we're done with the ABs. So the next thing we're going to do is look for AC triangles. All right, but one thing I'm not going to do is I'm not going to backtrack. So in other words, I'm going to go A to C. I am not going to turn and go back to B. That would be not in alphabetical order and it would repeat the ABC triangle that we already have. So we're always going to keep going forward in the alphabet. What comes after C is D. So we're going to say, is A, C, D forming a triangle? And the answer to that is yes, it is. So we're going to list A, C, D. Next, we're going to look for the letter that comes after D, which is E. So we're going to look for to see if A, C, E is a triangle, and it is. A, C, E forms a triangle. So we're going to list that one, keeping it in alphabetical order. All right, how about ACF? The letter after E is F. So ACF would be A to C and then back to F. It's actually just all, those are collinear points, we say. So they're all in the same line. So we can't use it as a triangle. So we're not going to list ACF. So what do we do next? Well, we have, we're down to F, ACF. And so we're done with the ACs. So the next thing we would do is the ADs. So we would check AD and then what's after the letter D? The letter E. So we would check ADE, but that's collinear as well. That's just a straight line, not a triangle. How about ADF? So ADF is a problem because there is no line segment connecting D and F, so that doesn't form a triangle. So ADF will not work. How about, oh, so we're done with the ADs, so now we're going to look at the AEs. AEF is a triangle, so AEF is going is listed here. And then we're at F, so there's nothing, there's no AE after AEF, so we're done with that. So we're done with the AEs, but that means that we go to AF and there's no letter after F, so we can't form a three-letter uh, three sequence, so there's no triangle there. So we're done with all of the A's. 
All right, now let's look at triangles that are formed with the vertex B, but we're not going to ever use A because that would be backtracking in the alphabet, and those that have A and B are already listed in the previous step. So the first thing we're going to look at is B, C, D. But B, C, D forms a straight line segment again, so that's not a triangle. So then we're going to go to what do you think? What would come after B, C, D? We want to stick with the B and the C and check E. So we're going to go to B, C, E. Is that a triangle? Yes, it is. B, C, E. So that's the first B triangle that we list, B, C, E. Okay, now what's after the letter E is the letter F. So we check if B, C, F is a triangle, and it is. B, C, F is here. Okay, and then once we get to F, that means we're done with the BCs, so we move on to the BDs. All right, so we're going to first check BDE. BDE is a triangle, so we're going to list it. And then we're going to check, um, what's the letter after E? F. So we're going to check BDF. But notice there's a problem. Again, there's no line segment between D and F. So BDF is not a triangle. So we skip that, but we're, that means we're done with the BDs. And so we're going to move on to the BEs. So BEF is the only possibility. These points are collinear. They do not form a triangle. So there's no BEs. And we know there's no BFs because there's nothing after the letter F. So we're done with all of the Bs. Then we're going to go to the Cs, starting with CD. CDE is a triangle, so we're going to list that one. Is CDF a triangle? No, because D and F are not connected again. So we're done with the CDs. Then we move on to the CEs. CEF is the only possibility with a CE, and it is a triangle, so we list it. Then we go on to the D's, but the only possibility there is D, E, F, and that's not a triangle. So we're done. E and F we can't use because there's not three letters left after E. So we have 12 different triangles and we've identified all of them. So that's another uh, version of systematic listing that you might find helpful when you're doing your homework. We're going to stop there. Thank you for watching the live chat or the recorded version. Uh, please, if the video was helpful to you, please give it a thumbs up. That helps other students to find the video.